Nonprofit Shines. My name is Erica Scott. I am your host and executive director of Life Changers Inc. And with me today is one of my favorite young ladies, Ariane Garcia. And Ariane is a volunteer with Life Changers. She is our Google manager handling Google ads and Google analytics. So Ariane and I are going to have a conversation to help those new and struggling uh, businesses, nonprofit and for profits, can use the information we are going to discuss, and basically to help you get your marketing, your advertising, and your analytics a bit more focused to help you get to the next level, which I'm thinking is where you want to head. So, Ariane, how are you? I'm well. I'm, I'm well. Thank you for having me. Oh, sure. Of course. Of course. You are, you know, we just had our um, volunteer meeting the other day, and, you know, my ears are still, like, tingling. I've been bragging to everybody, my mom and <laughs> <laughs> my kids. are like, can you believe, you know? So, uh, yeah, I definitely, uh, I, I've been saying for a while that I needed to have you on because I know one thing that we have in common is um, with your personal situation, and I don't know if you want to get into it or not, we can. but you are interested in starting a nonprofit for your reasons, and um, that was one reason why you were interested in coming over and uh, working with us so that you can learn, like, the ins and outs of, yeah. I know you volunteer with nonprofits, but maybe not. Un, you know, getting to be a part of the business aspect. So when yeah. you said you know how to do Google Ads and analytics, that was a marriage made in heaven, in <laughs> heaven. So, yes. So let's start with Marketing 101, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, I would like you to explain uh, to our listeners, um, because I always say a nonprofit is a business and it has to be treated as such. So from a business perspective, can you please talk about marketing for a minute? Yes. So all marketing really needs is just, you know, getting yourself out there in a way that people can see you, advertising. Um, and in this day and age, especially with Google Ads, um, it's a lot of the times has to deal with, with words, keywords. And, um, and as far as, like, how – you use the words it can it, it definitely it definitely matters because if you're look if just like if you're looking for like toy cars and let's just say, you know like let's just say that you're okay with like hand me down toy cars you're not going to want to type in used cars into the google search because you're going to get real used cars like <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> so you have to make sure that you that you know that that um what that the words that you use are at are are in are in the correct order <laughs> they're going to bring the right things to you and are also going to show you to the right people right so now then uh how do you choose keywords Yes. So you're going to want to use words that your audience looks up and it's going to, it, it, it sounds, it sounds so obvious, but it's, it's actually different, right? Um, because when you're like, let's just say people who work with money aren't going to type in the same words with money as people who don't have money right. and they're not going to use the same language. And so it's the most important part of marketing is making sure you speak the language of the person you're trying to talk to. Oh, <laughs> that was a that was a good one. Say that again. The most important part of marketing is making sure you're using the language that's going to reach the person you're trying to talk to. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so then I always talk about target market versus target audience and like uh so the audience I always use little Billy on a Saturday morning <laughs> watching cartoons 
uh, and this we're in the holiday season, so this is perfect. <laughs> and so there's that new thing, red shiny thing out that little Billy wants. So how do you talk to little Billy as opposed to the target market mom or dad who's buying it? Yeah. So to be honest, you're going to want to talk to both, but you're going to want to talk to both differently. You're not going to want to talk to Billy like he's Billy's mom. And you're not going to talk to <laughs> Billy's mom like he's Billy. Like you're going to want to say like this shiny red thing is 20% off. That's going to get Billy's mom's attention. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, and and that I think is um uh what you said um my mind is like in a million different directions since you said speak in their language. And that is exactly what keywords do. Yeah. So how do you shape um a marketing message when, because keywords are only one part of the ad. Yeah. That that you set up. So talk to us about the other parts of the ad and how you shape that to bring it all together um, to get the amazing results that Life Changers gets from your efforts. Yes. So um, when you're thinking about your target, your target market and what they, you want to think about what they want in all, and, and, and even if, even if like you're not actually selling like a product or using dollars, you're selling an idea. It's just convincing. That's you know what I mean. You're convincing someone to click on your ad, so you want to convince them with something that they want. Like executive directors want help. They want community. They want networking. They want organizing. So those are the kind of words that you're going to want to use to get their attention. So putting them all together, it's like it 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 differs. Like when you're putting the words together in your headline. You only want to use really just one of those words. You're not going to, if you, if you say something like, if you have networking and community as part of your keywords, then, and you can have a headline like organizing with like minds. You can have a headline that says network with your community. You can have a headline that, you know, putting, putting them together to be like, hey, this is where you can go to get that that help that like hey like maybe this executive director did something a little different that might work for you and so you want to talk to you want to talk to to each other but like it's hard to find <laughs> so like the the whole the whole the great thing about the about the Google ad grants is is that um you can you can you can use them to talk to different people and you're going to, you want to write the headline to be what you want to click on. Right. So if you want to attract donors, you might write nonprofit needs help because what do donors want? They want to help and right. they want to know that, the, that what, that, that who they're helping, what they're helping is good for something. And nonprofit has that reputation that nonprofit as a word has a reputation of being like, Oh, that's a good thing. That's right. something that you put money in it and good stuff happens for the world, for the people, for whoever. Right. right. And so, um, so for donors, you know, they, like they, then people, you know, a lot of the times they're not just going into Google typing, like, where do I give my money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be so nice. Oh, that would be so nice. No. So you want to, you know, you, you want to use words that's going to, that's going to get you in, in, in view of people who have money. And, um, I mean, to be honest, like you, like, you could even use words like luxury. <laughs> like, even if all you're doing is just promoting, you know, if, if you're promoting your podcast or promoting like your donor page, you know what I mean? Like that word will show up in front of people who are looking up luxury and guess what people who are looking up luxury have? They have money. Uh, you know what? And, and that's why you do what you do because I, <laughs> I hadn't even thought all the keywords that I've sent to use as suggestions I've, and luxury has not been one of them. <laughs> yeah. and, and you know, and I don't, and, and, and it's also important too, like where you put the words, you know what I mean? Like, like yes. if I use a word like luxury to promote a, like, like the, the, um, the reentry program, that's not right. going to work really because that's not the audience that that's for. Right. Right. But also right. like sometimes ex cons don't always use words like prison reentry. So you want to use words like jail 
um, or uh, and you want you know you want to use um, words like felon. Where it says that right. that 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 they would type in, so that it brings the ad to what they would see. Because when you use words like, and you can also put in words like prison reentry. I'm not saying that you know that, that, that that's that's obviously it's what it is. You want to use the obvious words, right. and they're, they're gonna they're gonna look up those words too. But like it's widening the net. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> it's, it's widening the net um, because yeah, you you want to make sure that you that that just you're, you're seen in front of everybody who wants who who needs to see you. And well, with, and with that, just throwing some caution out there is um, you don't want to make it so wide that, you know, e- even though it's Google Ad Spend is the grant that gives you up to $10,000. And folks, I've talked about this so many times in the past. Um, you have plenty of episodes to go back and, and check it out. And if you don't, and if you don't know, then feel free to. Contact us. Visit the website, thecnnpodcast.com. Click the contact us and uh, drop a note. What is the Google Ads grant? But um, even when you're using, and tell me if you agree, Ariane, mm-hmm. even even using the, the Google Ads grant, you still need to be strategic in mm-hmm. how you set up your ads, your budget. Yeah. And because, like, when I started – um, before you came on board, I, I think I had what, like three campaigns with maybe two ad sets per. And now we're, we have a lot more. <laughs> we have a lot more. So it, I, I could be that wide, you know, cast a wide net. But then when you need to be more strategic and more focused, then you do have to, you want a wide net. But why it's still in your industry, right? Yeah, yeah, and being careful with using certain words like like YouTube. If you wanna, if you want the word YouTube, if you want, if you want to like to to um to see it, like if you want to see something, do YouTube podcast and set it for worldwide. <laughs> That'll show you something. <laughs> but oh, you yeah. make sure you're oh, not yeah. spending a lot of money already. <laughs> because, but it, 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 it gets it gets it gets you in front of people, you know. Yeah. And you're you're not just getting in front of people who don't who don't speak English. You're getting in front of expats. You're getting in front of uh, like the military Americans who are overseas. You know, yeah. like that. And 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 um and uh, also, you know, sometimes sometimes things like just get randomly popular. Um and at random times like this this last this last week when we got all those hits from Turkey like that wasn't that was wild <laughs> that wasn't like that. <laughs> and yeah. said that wild turkey okay, yeah God. <laughs> but like you know what I mean but like the like the if if one if one person you know what I mean like somebody could donate. You know what I mean? They see, they see, they like, they're like, wow, this is a great thing to come. That's so crazy that it came in front of me. That's cool. And then they donate. And that's really what you want. Right. Um, and, and so, um, but you have to be, you have to be careful, you know? So, um, like, so if you, you know, if you're going to be using words like YouTube and podcast, make sure you're pairing them with more, with harder, like words to, cl- like, to, like specialized words, like specialized right. words, like, um, like, you know, nonprofit and community. Or if you're, if you're, if you're, um, if let's say you're, you're an animal shelter, you, you might want to pair it with like dogs or like cats or, you know, like this kind of podcast and, you know what I mean? It's, but, and really like try to, try to use as many of your, your specialized words as possible. Um, if not a, a void altogether, <laughs> as like right, just making right. sure that you don't use like the word YouTube unless you know what you're doing with it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like with and us, I, like I, I, I didn't even attempt to go there until I knew, like, okay, like this is, you know what I mean? Like that, like that. All the these other ads have these really specialized keywords. They they are really only seen like by the people who are meant to see them. And like, I have this one ad that's the YouTube ad that we use to get like the worldwide attention to be like, Hey, this is us. And this is our podcast. And this is this. And, and so you don't want to use that for every single one. You really Ew. just one ad. will you know what I mean? Like it's, it's a powerful word. <laughs> right, right. It is. And, and plus it's, I mean, for folks who don't, who may not know that YouTube is owned by Google now. They uh, bought it a few years back, and, of course, they're going to push it. 
you yeah. know, um, because video uh, YouTube is actually the number one search engine yeah. um, over Google since Google bought it. But that's because video has gotten to be so popular worldwide. And so, yeah, you have to be strategic because that look before YouTube brought uh, before Google bought YouTube um, and I was learning Google ads way almost 10 years ago. Um, yeah, I blew three hundred dollars in a day. Easy, <laughs> easy. And that wasn't even using words like YouTube. So, yeah, if you pull up YouTube mm-hmm. and and a word like podcast, which I believe gets about four million. It's about four million posts on Facebook, um, because when I when I post there on our Facebook page and, you know, you do the hashtag and Facebook will show you how many posts. Yeah. Well, yeah, the word podcast alone has four, like four million, I think it is, 3.4 yeah. million or four million. It's a lot. So it's the same thing with ads. You, mm-hmm. you know, those words, basically, folks, you don't want to put in words just to get attention mm-hmm. if you don't, if you're not answering that need. So now, with that being said, Ariane, how about we transition into bounce rate? You want to yeah. talk about that? Yeah. So... Just a catty corner into bounce rate from YouTube. Um, when you like, if if you're when you're doing like a you like just like just to give you an idea, like our bounce rate went up like twenty percent when I created that YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> do that. Because what's happening is people are like, okay, so when when uh, the bounce rate is how long people stay on your page right. and you want them to stay forever, right? The longer someone's on your page, the lower your bounce rate is, the right. happier you are. Cause you know, they're interested in what you want. Right. Um, not like, like, like I said, like, you know, when like your YouTube is a wide net. So, so like people are coming, especially worldwide. And if you're like life changers is a, you know, we do reentry in Atlanta and the Cobb County and, and, and what was the other county? Eccles County. So it's like a small area in Georgia, Georgia compared to like the world, you know? Right. So, so, um, like the, so when I created that, you know, all of a sudden we had people like in Turkey and in India and, and <laughs> everywhere, you know, and, and they, they're not going to be super interested in what we do. Well, right? I, I will, like, I will say though, hang on, cause I will say we had Salman who was an intern. He just finished the lit internship program last month and he was, he was in a uh, school outside of, Shanghai. Okay. Okay. okay well, there but you go. Okay. I just did this again. Yes. We also <laughs> had Charles, who was a volunteer, and he was in Malaysia. And we had Jose, who was in, who is in Colombia, uh, South America. So, yeah, those ads, they were, they were attracting the right people because all three of them were with us for a while and did really good work. Yeah, and and also just mentioning, you know, just to, just to put this out there because I have come across um, a, a people, exec, executive directors who are like who 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 don't know what to do with with um, volunteers from out of the country. If if you have somebody who's interested in helping you, don't push them away. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Find yes, something come on. Just, like if 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 delegating is hard for you to do. Then and then an out of the states volunteer is going to be the best thing for you to teach you how to delegate because you don't want to send anybody yes. away who's trying to help you if you just right. want to have them answer emails you know what I mean it's like like something <laughs> but like right. yeah like, oh, there's all, oh try, where there's uh let's see we have one two three four five, six volunteers we have two interns and three community service workers and yeah. We we yeah. still have plenty. I still have two really key volunteer roles I'm looking to fill. One for social media, which yeah. ironically enough is the <laughs> one I get the most interest in and can't get anybody. That's what Charles of Malaysia was doing, but he got yeah. real busy with his own thing. And then the other role uh, is uh, volunteer CFO and treasurer. Mm-hmm. And uh, that I, I don't get hits on. Uh, I don't have anybody for either one of those, but. You know, like you're yeah. saying, it's uh, you don't push anybody away. No, yeah. I know. 
Mm-mm, I yeah. Right away. Yeah, I know, and that's yeah, and and your example is exactly why. Like I told, like who was like the person who told me that. I was like, oh, just don't get. It. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's it's stuff. not. It's easier than it sounds, though, because it really, yeah, that's some true. people, and and this, and that's why this this podcast, I th- it, it is so near and dear to me because I I think it's important to discuss. Not just networking. We are working to build a global network of community nonprofit organizations, which is greatly needed, share resources and information and updates and this, that, that, and the other. But also because there are things, like I said, I come from Ford Profit, got a profitable trucking company that's making good money. Um, but when nonprofit is some, uh, I thought was way different. You have people that are in that may not, may not have ever even had a business i at least had a business so i knew business how to keep a business for almost 20 years but you have some people coming out of like a cubicle you know or even managing a company but that's not starting and growing and then here we are talking about digital you know not just because life changes was born during the pandemic but because you can't meet with those you know interns and uh Mm -hmm. community service members in Malaysia, in South America, in Canada, you know, you're going to meet with them. You got to meet with them online. So, yeah, you have to be good at delegating, but it's it requires leadership skills that everybody doesn't have. Yeah, they would like is, to have, yeah. but you don't know what you don't know until you need to know it, right? That's true. That's true. That's very true. That's very true. Yeah. So it's, um, again, it's, uh, and ads, uh, that's definitely a part of it um, to get yourself out. Out there, you know, in the for-profit world, it says, uh, they say, you know, uh, marketing gets you known, sales gets you paid. Well, marketing is marketing. Like you said, marketing is is getting in front of people, your brand, your, you know, some people get really down to the details, like your font and colors. I mean, that's all branding, brand management and all that. But then you also have um, sales and commissions. So, Talk to us about how you use Google Ads to run. Oh, let, let me just say this for, for anybody who hasn't heard of Google Ads, um, because people get really excited when I talk to them about this on the phone, and they're like, oh, really? Tend to... Like, yeah, but hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on a minute, because it's not, like the, it's not like a Google Ad account that you're paying for when you put your visa in there, because this one here makes it a lot more challenging because mm-hmm. you can't use pictures, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you also, nor can you use video, right? Yeah. You only get one type, and it's the search ad. You can't. They they show you there's nine like nine or ten different kinds of Google ads, and you get really excited, and then they're like, you can only use search. <laughs> they don't even block them out for you. They let you click on them, and then at the end, they're like, do they have a little yes! checkbox? <laughs> they, 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 they let you do the whole ad setup, and then it's yeah. at the end. Oh, you can't use this. Why didn't you tell me this thirty minutes ago? Yeah, they, yeah. They, for some reason, you're just able to, even though at the end they're like, you can't do this. Right, right, right. And I, there's, I think honestly, they're still working out their kinks. They just barely created it, did it in a way to where you didn't have to add your card. Like I think in the past, yeah. they had a way you had to add your card, and you just had to be like, and like they just like, we don't do refunds. If you messed it up, you messed it up. We. Oh yeah, that that we wouldn't have it. We wouldn't have yeah. it because I, like I said, when I when I did have a budget for it and it said at three, you know, three hundred dollars, yeah. it wasn't meant to be in a day. <laughs> but that's how much I paid for that lesson that day. But yeah, yeah the, now with the nonprofit, no, we no, I'm not covering that one. I'm not <laughs> covering. I I tell you what, if we lost three hundred dollars in a day from an oops. We, I wouldn't be on, I wouldn't be joking. I wouldn't, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't be laughing right now. Yeah. I can laugh because, you know. Okay, so now. Uh, make it, not, don't put like every single ad worldwide. Have okay. some of your ads to be local. Have some of your ads to be, you know, do you want your donator, donate ads? You want your volunteer ads to be global because right. you want global dollars. You want global help. But right. you, but like the people who are like, like who you want to attract to your program, like, um, you want that to be, you know, the, the peop the, the people that you're, that you're for. Like if you're in a, if you're in, in a city, you want the people in your city. If you have a building, you want them to come to your building. And right. you then um, you want it to be 
like in a you want your ad to be like in a driving distance of, right. of where of, of of your building and that's like hey this is where we do this service in that way oh okay and then you're more likely to get conversions for your programs when you do them locally and then you know you like your your global and you you can you you your global volunteer and donor ads you know you, like you those are your big spender words you know and that's the ones it's like hey look at me but you know the, like the the specialized ones for your programs that's going to be the like the strategy um right. that'll that's what helps you that's the because you don't spend as much on those and so that's what gives you that leeway to be able to spend on the global ads because those get those get you you know like that those get like an entirely different kind of attention yes yes now i i will i will say this and and it's you know totally up to you folks personally I I don't mind. Arianne is one of our board members. I didn't mention that. Arianne is one of our board members, and um, Arianne is in Texas, and we're in Atlanta. She's San Antonio. We're in, in Atlanta, Georgia. So I don't mind Arianne being in Texas. <laughs> you know. <laughs> However, uh, when it comes to the CFO and treasurer position, I want that person local. Yeah, I, I I really want you you deal with our money. I I need. No, yeah, I need to be able to get to come, see you. Yeah, not, yeah. Knocking on your, uh, hello. Yeah, the, like, well, yeah, well, when you're talking about the money, you're going to want somebody who works right next to you. Like, right. like, is that, that's, it's, it's, I mean, there's a trust thing, but also because like, like you need to be, Hey, can I, can, do we have the money to spend on this? Like, what right. does it look like for this? And that's going to be somebody who you don't want to be messing around with time zones. <laughs> 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 that, that, yeah, that's true. That's true. Because we we have, um, let's see, we're Eastern, you are Central, Central. Yeah. and we have, and our interns are Pacific because they're up in Tacoma. So yeah, <laughs> we're 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 widespread, and we did at one point have people in every single time zone. Yeah, but you know, getting it done, getting it done, that's what it takes. So yeah. now, share with us what resources do you use, or could you suggest, if any? to help people find keywords. Yeah, so um when I was first um before I got like the the hang of it really like the of of the the algorithm itself, I used this thing called Uber Suggest. Um it's called uh app app dot neil n e i l Patel, P A T E L dot com, and um, Neil Patel. Oh, yeah, for years. right. Well, he was an individual guy who bought Uber Suggest, but like, <laughs> and then changed it to his name, and it became like a personal marketing thing based off of like everybody who was. You just taught me that. something. I didn't know he Uber bought Suggest. that. Yeah, okay. I, yeah. Okay. It was a, I, I, I sign. I, I. Uh, it's a, it's a free, it's a free thing you can sign up for, but it's like right. a, you get a limited. Amount. So you get three searches a day. So you got to use your searches wisely. <laughs> right. I learned. I learned um, when I was first setting up the account. I was just to give you guys an idea um, of like the amount of time um, that you want to like dedicate to this in order to make it right. Because mistakes they can be you know like Costly. that. Month. Yeah. So so um, so the, I, I I was in there every day for like the first month, five days a week, like about an hour and a half, two hours. Wow. And that was because I was, I was, um, I was getting everything like I was, I was, I was, I was almost brand new because Google ads, the Google ads grant, it's, it's the same, it's the same like format, but it's a different kind of style. So you're, it's really like, you're kind of dealing with, um, spaghetti and chicken Alfredo. <laughs> 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 I prefer the latter. Okay, I'm listening. So, so like, yeah, my attention because you know, now I'm getting hungry. It's noodles and sauce, but it's different <laughs> kind of noodles and sauce, and you make it a little differently. So when when I was going in there, I was using this free tool. I was only limited to my my three searches. So I was I when I I when I I was trying to figure out. Okay, um, I started you know I started one ad at a time, and the ad that I wanted that I was doing was the uh, the. The workshop. It was the workshop ad. I can't remember if it was the virtual or not. I don't think it was, but um, it might have been. 
It was a local ad. I remember, I remember that. I remember yeah, that was that, that was the ad. actual um, in in person because we just started one, the workshop. Right? Yeah, a couple of months. Yes, ago. I remember. Yeah, I remember the virtual workshop was one that that we that we did after I had already gotten the hang of it, and right, so right. it was the yeah, you're right, absolutely. So it was the in person one that we worked. So it was a local ad that I was looking for. So I was like, okay, so I want to use the right words, right? Um, I typed in, you know, the. I I did it was funny that day I did my 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 all three of my searches were prison prison reentry and then prison again because I hit enter <laughs> so, <laughs> you know it's you you know that's that that was a day right so then I was just like okay <laughs> and, like, if it's green that means that it, like, then um it's a good one you, like some of them like will be red and um just you know that specific tool and it's if if, if um like certain words um will bring up like too many things like prison by itself brought up way too many things we would have been lost in the shuffle um yeah. like but w- the word jail that's a communal word like that's really like i mean like they they have jails in this in the sense that there's jails but i mean institutionally they well, they refer to them as prisons so when you right. type in the word jail you get more of a of a people like you know, like people looking for jail, like jail resources, you know, okay. like uh, bonds and programs and okay. and the like, and and so um, I uh, so that's that's um, that's just an example, but I, like you know, once you once you get the hang of the of of the tool, where you're like, okay, you know, and you start getting the sense of like which words are going to be like for your thing when right. you're typing in the same thing over and over again and you see you know it's it's bringing up like like the same kind of you know it's prison reentry services prison services reentry you know what i mean and then they'll have <laughs> prison services reentry atlanta you know what i mean right. and so right. so you want to so like you also you, when you're doing you don't don't forget your cities and your counties and your states yes. and your, your local ads yes uh, and, and 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 you know you want to put all of them on there it, it, even even putting slang like for San Antonio, I would put military city. I'm not kidding. Like I want, you know, I want everybody. Wow. You know what I mean? Like and military cities, what we call ourselves is we have like three or four military bases here. Right, so right. like locally, like socially, like we'll be like, yay, you know. And so, <laughs> so if I want if I want to have an ad where I'm targeting like the San Antonio area, I'm going to use San Antonio words. So if I'm if I'm you know like I I didn't know. The the slang words for Atlanta because I don't live in Atlanta. But hot I use Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, hot I Atlanta. Atlanta. There you I go. I use Atlanta. I use Georgia. I use Cobb County. I use Eccles County. I even use surrounding counties so that way, like you know, people like like who have cars, you know what I mean? Like, right. like could right. still like it, it didn't seem like it was like that that far away, and um, like you know, in San Antonio, like San Antonio takes up all of Bear County, and right. then there's like four counties around it that are within like. 10 minute distances of like like the line of Bear County and it's all San Antonio. So I I I I it looked like there would have been like there was a similar setup in Atlanta on the map. So that's what I did. And so and so for those of you who who find yourselves in a position like I am where you're doing the ads for a place that's not where you are. Right. Um and and so uh, like you don't forget the local words and and um if you're if you have the time for it i highly recommend too just like like at like finding out like the like just type going into um incognito mode so oh, that, oh yeah yeah okay i'm sorry yeah i was, I was I, totally somewhere else with it i'm okay, a language yeah. person so i'm uh, <laughs> so like, I, I just like start throwing out like like words like we're on tap yeah, you said invisible <laughs> i'm like i want to know what this is <laughs> So, so if you if you you know if you have the time for it you know after you use the the, the Uber suggest you get a few words go into in, in the incognito mode now what that does is that runs a, a for those who don't know that runs um, a Google a Google um, internet page where it doesn't track your cookies and your history and right. that'll give you an idea of like what the random person is like putting in in the search engine and what they see because when you type in prison reentry it's gonna be like all the things that you like it's gonna pull all the stuff in your yes. in your computer about like that you do with prison so like if like if i were to type it in i would probably get like state websites i would probably right. get like other nonprofit programs i'm not gonna like that 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 um that are similar but probably not 
exactly what I would be looking for. So when it went like when uh when you go into say, incognito mode and you know and you type in you know prison reentry Atlanta, which is what you know like the the main one of what I did just to start off. It just, this is what I did. Um, I, I was able to look and see like what the average person was seeing. And there were, you know, like, and I, I, I did the same thing with our name. I typed in life changers. I see who else is coming up as life changers, you know, life right. changers Atlanta. Who else is coming up life changers Atlanta? What did their ads look like? Right. Um, it, you know what I mean? And, and, um, like trying to like, like, like not, not so much compete necessarily because like I, that wasn't even in my head, but like, like if I, like if, if I'm going to use similar words to them, I'm probably going to show up next to them. Right. And so I want to make sure that you know, it's a complimentary so that I show up next to them. You know I mean? Exactly. <laughs> and there actually, there is um, a life changers uh, in Texas. I want to say it's, is it Fort Worth? I, I want to say it's the Northern part of Texas. And, but their site, like we're life changers, org. And they are online lifechangers.org, I think. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty, because I, even I was getting confused. I, you know, <laughs> it, and Google search, everybody looks alike except the name, and the yeah. name's looking just alike. And I'm here I am, I'm on with Google support, like, why can't I edit my own page? <laughs> because it's not your page, you know. But, um, yeah, but I, I'll say this as far as resources. Uh, Uber suggests that that is a good one. I learned that. I didn't realize I learned it from Neil Patel because it was one of his. Um, <laughs> but Neil Patel, for anybody who's interested, if you want to go a little deeper with like SEO, Neil Patel is your guy. He's been doing this forever and a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I use keywords everywhere and that I like it because I use Chrome and they have a browser extension. And so when you hover over like websites and YouTube channels and it pulls up like certain stats right there. I mean, you don't have to go clicking anywhere. It, as you hover your mouse, you yeah. can see information, Ooh. rankings, you know, di- oh, it's, it's dangerous that the free <laughs> stuff. Is, and again, that's what we share on here, free and low cost. And this keywords everywhere and I believe the website is keywords.io or keywords everywhere.io. But you go to just go to Google and Google keywords everywhere, Chrome extension, boom, it's going to take you right there. And yeah, um, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it does get a little aggravating because it does highlight and give you information on every word you're going to go across. <laughs> but if you are in that mode, like, Arianne said, you know, for an hour and a half, two hours, I'm just doing this, then yeah, you can go ahead and turn that extension on and get to working with it. And uh, you can go to another company's information and you'll see what keywords they're ranking for. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's awesome. It is really awesome. Okay, let's move on. Were were there any uh, tips that you wanted to share about advertising that some a newbie might, you know, a snag that you can help them avoid? Yeah, yeah. Um, be mindful of your punctuation. Um, yes. <laughs> don't, oh, uh, yes. Uh, an, an extra space at the end will they'll they'll be like your ad's not your ad's not it. And then like I'll be like why? And like and and there, there was an ad the, the one of our ads wasn't going for like weeks. I couldn't figure it out. I was going in there and. <laughs> <laughs> I was going in there and I was like, there's not random explanation points. I was like, there's not random question marks. You know, their right. biggest thing is like, they don't want like a letter and then a period and then a letter and a period, a letter, and a period. You know, they don't right. want like an exclamation point in the middle of your word. They want it to be easy to read. So that's like, right. make it easy. So it's like, it's like, um, for your, let's just give you an example. Like for your description, you know, it's like one or two sentences. Let's make them regular sentences. You know, like I would even say stay away from the, the ellipses, the dot, dot, dots, the, the <laughs> And I'm big, and you know, I'm big on that. When you get my emails, it's like, but what about? Yeah, no, I, I am not, too. <laughs> I am too. I am too. But like, I, I, like one of the things that I saw, like just for that, like just specifically for that, was that like it looks like there's more on the ad, and if it's not clickable, it can look kind of confusing. But sure. for the, but like a space counts. Space counts, <laughs> and it a counts space, as your headline. Yes. No, 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 you, you, you hit the nail right on the head because I can't tell. Oof, 
Yeah. I was like, it, it, my stomach is like getting tight thinking about it. Little yeah. things like that. Google is so, you it's know, true. I wouldn't have a problem with that if they had like a little error box. Yeah, okay. that said like this you is why they let you complete it. They let yes. you, they let you, they, they will tell you, okay, thank you, we're sending this for review. And then they'll turn around the next day like, nope. And nope. then, Ain't and then I'm just like, I, I did the thing like, and you look in over, and your headlines don't have uh, have punctuation, nope. and all your descriptions only have periods, and they're regular sentences. They're all grammatically correct. Yep. You know what I mean? And 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 there's 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 no slashes anywhere funny. Nope. There's no question marks anywhere funny. Nope. You go through your headlines. You you click the ve- you click the very end, and you you do that uh like if you will you'll see if it if it's not on the letter if there's a space next to it you just delete it and then you try <laughs> and that, that was so what was that was wrong with mine for like three weeks <laughs> it was see, just and yeah my husband and like i it wasn't even something that crossed my mind i was just so i just so happened to be like complaining about it because like again i had like i was i had like was about like I was like I can't submit this back again for review because if they, they they'll tell you on there too if you keep sending this back to us and you didn't change anything like right. we're gonna get mad at you and I don't know what all it said but I remember being like I don't want to get mad at me <laughs> <laughs> don't tell Erica I'm messing it up <laughs> uh, you know I and I and I I know you're doing a great job and I know you're in there all the time so I don't even that's why I don't even send you the uh the emails anymore because I know I was saying I'm like. If she's as tired of, of getting these emails as I am of sending them, at some point she's going to be like, you know what, thank you for the opportunity, but I'm done. No, and so no, I stopped you know, sending them, I, but it's like, ah, oh, this is I didn't even like, say anything. I let you send them because I was just like, it was just served me as a reminder of, like, I need to figure out what's wrong with <laughs> Because like That's, I would hey. them and, and I would look at them and I'm just like, yeah. But they'll tell you, they'll tell you, we're just gonna send it off to a review. And if they send it back to you, those like, don't go back in there immediately. I'm telling you, let it breathe for your yeah, own exactly. peace of mind. Yeah, let it breathe. You yeah. go take a walk. You yeah. go take a walk around. Don't even, <laughs> don't even answer it that day. If, if right. you, if you, right. if like, if you were, if you were pretty sure like that you that you got it and you sent it and then they send it back to you saying no. Like, don't even go back to it that day. You just wait. You know what I mean? And then, like, read the po- – what I had to read the policy a couple of times on, on, on one of them because, oh, um, because like, it was, mm. it was, like, it was, like, right at the, the very last thing. And it, it, it turned out that, like, I had – um I had a uh, – that I, it was the it was life 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 changers as a name. They capitalized the C and they got all they got all mad at me. <laughs> and I, and I didn't, they didn't tell me that was it. They just said this is the punctuation rule. And I was like, Ugh. I was like you know, again, no weird Jeez. letters. Like I mean, no no weird exclamations, no weird periods. And like right. I didn't know about the space thing yet, but you, you know what I mean. But I, I figured out it was the C and life changers was capitalized and it was making them mad. So again, let it breathe. It's not, you know it's not it's not wow. just. Wow. And 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 you know it, it it's if if it's been a couple of times like like um like I what I didn't do that I recommend doing is getting like is, is getting somebody else to look at it I don't really have anybody else to look at it except Erica because uh, Erica can't really see but my second pair of eyes was you know just complaining about it to my husband and my husband like dealing with system you know what I mean like, like yeah you know like I press enter and it just, and it get his system is fancy and gives him the error box and but it gave him the error box for the space and that was something that I hadn't come across. So you know what I mean. Oh. I also recommend venting and complaining to anyone who listen. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And Find a form. An idea. <laughs> Find a form. Well, you know, we have a we only have a few minutes left, and yeah. I really, you know me, you know, we get into techie. So um, yeah. I I want to just touch on Google Analytics because this is another one that I've spoken about, just touched on in many previous episodes. So. I truly believe you can't tweak what you don't track. Mm-hmm. Would you agree? I agree. One thousand percent. Okay. So now what are the give us some bullet points with Google Analytics that you do for us. Um, even, you know, what you've just like we just finished explaining about the do's and don'ts for, for ads, not to get frustrated, let it breathe, because <laughs> this is what are the do's and don'ts and must track in Google Analytics, in your opinion? Where they're coming from. Where they're coming from. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and, and um, 
like there there's a way you can hook up Google Ads to Google Analytics to where it'll show you like which ad is like making them is is making yes. people click. <laughs> and that's that's a, that's a great that's a great tool. Uh an, another thing to do too is when you're I like to like okay, I don't like to rely on the um on on the connect on the on the automatic connection. I like to like know for sure like okay, these are where these people click. These are and I compare analytics from everywhere like so like the so i'm like okay if we got this many people like like just example like if this we got this many people from turkey who clicked on our youtube ad right just go back to that example and then like okay i go into analytics i'm like okay yeah they really did go and you know they really did do that i'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> you know? like, so I you're like, actually you're going you're not just relying on google analytics being the the hub for all analytics you're going back to okay they said facebook did this let me go check facebook yeah and, and then i yeah wow. and i went into youtube analytics and i guess i found out i went to go find out how many people in turkey watched our video and and, and, and like from like so the thousands of people that clicked on our ad to the to the, you know, the hundreds of people that clicked on the site like itself there was a, to the to the to the the tens of people that got to the YouTube, eleven people watched the video, and like wow. I, from like and, and from Turkey, for, so like from that specific like so I, I am, I don't like to just 